This is part 10 of Bootstrap Tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss working with paragraph elements and inline text. First, let's look at the global bootstrap defaults that are applied to the body element and all paragraph elements. Here are the defaults. Font size is 14 pixels, line height is 1.428. Let's confirm this. Let's flip to Visual Studio. Notice here we have this word hello bootstrap inside a paragraph element. Let's view this page in the browser. Now let's confirm this paragraph element is using the bootstrap defaults. To do this I'm going to right click on this word and then select inspect from the context menu. This is going to launch the Google Chrome developer tools and notice here we have styles as we scroll down Notice the font size is 14 pixels and line height is 1.428. Now let's discuss bootstrap inline text elements. To underline text use the U element to strike through S, highlight, mark, emphasizer, italicize, EM, bold, strong, subscript SUB and to superscript SUP. Let's look at a few examples. Notice here we've got a few paragraph elements and within the paragraph elements we are also using the inline text elements. And here is the output. Notice the text that is surrounded by U element is underlined, the text that is surrounded by S element is striken through, so on and so forth. I have this exact same HTML already typed within Visual Studio. So let's uncomment this and let's reload this page. Let's first close the browser developer tools. Now notice we get the output that we expect. Also notice there is a horizontal line here because we are using the HR tag right here. And the reason for this red color is within our custom styles.css I have overridden the border color to one pixel solid red. Now let's discuss the text alignment classes made available by Bootstrap. To left align text use text left. To center align use text center. To right align text right. To justify text justify. To not allow wrapping of words onto a new line, use text no wrap. Here are the examples. Notice along with the paragraph elements, we are also using the bootstrap text alignment classes. And here is the output. I have this exact same HTML already typed in Visual Studio. So I am going to uncomment this code and reload our page. Notice the paragraph that has text left class applied, it's left aligned. The paragraph that has text center applied, it is center aligned. And the paragraph that has text right applied is right aligned. And this is the paragraph on which we have text justify class applied. To see the text justification in action, I'm going to resize the browser. Notice the first three lines within this paragraph are properly justified. And this is the paragraph on which we have text no wrap class applied. And because we applied that class, it's not allowing wrapping of words onto a new line. Instead, they continue in the same line. And because of that, we get this horizontal scroll bar. Now, let's discuss bootstrap transformation classes. Here are the bootstrap transformation classes. To convert letters to lowercase, use text lowercase class. To convert them to uppercase, use text uppercase. To capitalize first letter of every word, use text capitalize class. Here are the examples. Notice along with the paragraph elements, we are using bootstrap transformation classes as well. And here is the output. Let's look at this in action. I'm going to uncomment the code that I have typed within Visual Studio and reload this page. Notice text lowercase paragraph converts all the letters to lowercase. Text uppercase paragraph converts all the letters to uppercase. Text capitalize paragraph converts the first letter in every word to a capital letter. Let's now discuss lead class in Bootstrap. If you got more than one paragraph and if you want a specific paragraph to stand out from the rest of the paragraphs, on that paragraph you can use the lead class. Let's look at an example. Notice here we've got two paragraphs and on the first paragraph we're using the lead class. This is going to make that first paragraph stand out from the second paragraph. Let's look at this in action. 
let's uncomment this HTML and reload our page. Notice the first paragraph stands out from the second paragraph because on the first paragraph we're using the lead class. Let's now discuss how to work with abbreviations. To create abbreviations, use ABBR element. Abbreviations with a title attribute displays a dotted underline. When the mouse is over the abbreviation, the pointer becomes a help cursor as you can see here and the title attribute value is displayed as a tooltip. Let's look at this in action. So I have an ABBR element right here and it also has got a title attribute. Title attribute value is set to British Broadcasting Corporation and the abbreviation is BBC. Let's save our changes and reload this page. Notice the abbreviation is displayed here with a dotted line. When I move the mouse over that abbreviation, look at that, we see a help cursor and we see the title attribute value as a tooltip. Now, if you want this abbreviation to have a slightly smaller font size, then apply initialism class on that abbreviation. So let's apply the initialism class. save our changes and look at this. When I reload this page, the font size will be slightly smaller. Thank you for listening and have a great day.